Hello everybody, my name is Tim from IELTSFreeway.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to skim, scan and read for detail. This will help to boost your IELTS reading band score. This short video is a very small part of a much larger course called IELTS Express, which I'm giving away for free. It will be available in about one to two weeks time if you wish to receive the full video series, all you have to do is follow the link in the comment section below and sign up with your email address. Okay, enjoy the video. Now, it's really important that you understand uh, the difference between skimming, scamming and reading for detail and how to do those skills correctly. So I'm going to show you now and I'm going to use a text from a previous exam paper and here it is there are four paragraphs in this section that I've selected and first we're going to skim through it to get a general idea of the text and what um, information it is about and where different information is located so to do that we're going to read the topic sentences of each paragraph so the first one's chronobiology might sound a little futuristic so I guess the rest of that paragraph will um, tell us what chronobiology is um, second topic sentence this can take many forms um, marine life for example so I guess that paragraph will tell us about the different forms it can take. I might also look at um, the sentence starters of a sentence or two in the middle of a paragraph, especially if it's a little longer like this one. And I notice it starts with nocturnal animals. So um, this, that's probably another form that chronobiology can take. Um, the third paragraph starts with when it comes to humans. So immediately I know that paragraph is going to tell us um, about the chronobiology and humans. Um, uh, another sentence I might skim read, not everyone has an identical circadian rhythm, so I know that's going to tell us something about the differences um, halfway through that paragraph. And the fourth paragraph there, scientists have limited abilities. So that's going to tell us um, um, something about the limitations that uh, scientists no or limitations to their understanding of this. So now I know what's in the text and um, perhaps what's in each paragraph. Um, I then go to look at a question and I'm going to use a true false not given question here. Um, this was on the actual paper and the statement reads a night person can still have a healthy circadian rhythm um, and I need to find out if it's true false or not given. So this is about a night person and uh, circadian rhythm. Now, if you remember from skim reading, the third paragraph, the topic sentence, um, when it comes to humans, chronobiologists are interested in what is known as the circadian rhythm. So because I've already skim read um, this, I know that, or I think that the answer to this is going to be in that third paragraph there. So skim reading has helped me identify which paragraph it, the answer could possibly be in. Now I need to scan through the paragraph for um, uh, a night person. Um, but the IELTS examiners rarely use words that match the statements. So they're probably not going to say night person, they're probably going to say something slightly different. Um, but I'm going to scan through the text to look for uh, something to do with night person or night people. And uh, there we go, it's quite easy to spot. We can see night people. So I just scanned through looking for a specific uh, name, something to do with night or night people, and there it is. Now what I need to do is to um, read that paragraph or the majority of that paragraph um, carefully to see what the actual answer is. So um, I'm going to read from, well at least from 
um, the second sentence. So this is the complete cycle our bodies are naturally geared to undergo within the passage of a 24 hour day. Aside from sleeping at night and waking during the day, each cycle involves many other factors such as changes in blood pressure and blood and body temperature. Not everyone has an identical circadian rhythm. Night people, for example, often describe how they find it very hard to operate during the morning, but become alert and focused by evening. This is a benign variation within circadian rhythms known as a chronotype. Now, um, I believe the answer is certainly there where night people are mentioned. Um, I'm just going to check the statement again. A night person can still have a healthy circadian rhythm. So we want to know if they have a healthy circadian rhythm or not. Um, or if it doesn't even tell us. Night people, for example, often describe how they find it very hard to operate during the morning, but become alert and focused by evening. Now, that doesn't tell us whether it's um, healthy or not, so that is not where the answer is. But if we keep reading, it says this is a benign variation within circadian rhythms known as a chronotype. Now, you might not know this, but the word benign um, actually means um, harmless or, uh, or normal. Um, so in this case, where it says this is a benign variation, um, it means that it's basically healthy, that it's okay. So a, per a night person can still have a healthy circadian rhythm. The answer there is true. Um, but I had to read the the whole paragraph basically to carefully to work out what the answer actually was. So I, I had to use skimming to identify the correct paragraph, scanning to check where the um, answer it perhaps is, so I could focus on that part, and then I needed to read all around it carefully to check. Um, to see what the answer actually was. And you basically repeat that process um, for, uh, for the next statements and you do similar things for different question types. But that is basically what skimming, scanning and reading for detail is. And you don't need to, by doing that, it means you don't have to read the whole text. Um, you can dip in and out of it and find the relevant parts you need and this is much more time efficient for you which is really important in the IELTS test.